So I had an awesome question today from a relatively newer student. They wanted to know, how do you overcome the fear and apprehension or anxiety, if you will, of sparring as a newer practitioner? And they had some different ideas, some things that they had heard and read online. Some of it was pretty on point. Some of it was just kind of preposterous in my own opinion. So here's a couple of things that I suggest. One, find experienced training partners. Now, a lot of people are like, I don't want to spar somebody that's like light years ahead of me. That guy's going to kill me. He's not going to. That's the fun part. He or she should have the ability as a more experienced practitioner to kind of control the pace, to work with you and help build you up all while maintaining your safety. All right. Two, think of it from a psychological standpoint, like a uh, a computer and a processing speed, if you will. When you're brand new, you don't process the data as fast as you will once you have more experience. But over time, your data processing speed will increase and you'll be able to process what's incoming and you'll also be able to turn out faster responses, right? So find experienced training partners that don't really have anything to prove and they're not trying to beat you, they're trying to better you and think of it in that computerized manner. We simply want to be able to improve our processing speed a little bit more and more each time. Now, uh, one of the questions they asked was, what protective gear should you wear? When you first start out sparring, I suggest mouthpiece, cup, gloves, and shin pads. Um, what's my opinion on a helmet? Opinions vary. Even the International Olympic Committee has been in the air uh, about how much protection they actually offer versus what false confidence and willingness to absorb damage they give the person wearing them. I'm definitely not a big fan of like shoulder pads and the whole chest protector thing, especially for older kids and adults. We should simply start slow enough that we don't have that risk or that concern of serious injury. And that will allow us, as we strengthen the speed of our processor, to also strengthen our body's ability to take a blow without fear. Train smart, train hard, increase your data processing speed. Remember, always try and upgrade your software without damaging your hardware, guys. I'm Coach B at XG Combat Sports, Montgomery, Alabama.